Welcome back everyone and good to talk to you once again Welcome to World Worship And today's topic guys it's my recommended ships for the oncoming year 2019 And especially when there will be maybe two or three CVs in each and every battle Even you my dear subscriber and viewer from and, hey, and we have a huge pleasure, pleasure to watch this awesome captain from EU and his name is SGL 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 L TL well whatever we'll just call him SGL whatever guys in this uh, match it, it is too well oh, he's queue up with the uh, Rujo by the way which is not bad thing he probably is, has a full AA build and this ladies and gents it's the new oncoming tier 6 prince it's in the premium shop or you can just complete the mission and receive this ship so my topic today it's what premium ship do I recommend for 2019 and especially after CV rework ladies and gents I did see a lot of uh, YouTube videos about tier 4 Langley and I'm talking about CV rework and absolutely no harm to you if you are a battleship or cruiser you, you name it tier 4 they are very mech and they do not have torpedo bombers I repeat the tier 4 uh, reworked CV rework they do not have the torpedo bombers so guys my first recommend if you do not have the Imperial Nikolai which is the most overpowered tier 4 battleship in this game tier for tier there will be a new variant or not sir used to say the closest to Imperia it will be the Austro-Hungarian slash German premium tier 4 uh, battleship um, videos unities unities that thing it's absolutely broken it has even more better armor some plating 50 millimeters so guys the plane okay we have two planes down three planes down it is actually tier 6 um, enemy CV right very good uh, from this uh, friendly CV so not a whole lot only three planes that's nothing to be shamed but it's definitely a good start all right guys the tier 4 oncoming premium uh, uh, tier 4 battleship will be up as hell and even better armor than the Imperator with 12 guns you know highly highly recommend this uh, new German version of the uh, uh, in Nikolai and I would like to say it's a very good uh, cheap good fun to play if you enjoy tier 4 um, you know uh, matchmaking because <laughs> it's a very special kind of matchmaking you all know all right for tier fi uh, 5 there's no brainer it's the US Texas by far the best oncoming new patch best tier 5 battleship otherwise uh, the rest of all tier 5 battleship or kind of a mech in AA and remember you might face two or three uh, like this game three two bat uh, two carriers or maybe in each and every battle especially at the at the start so US Texas is my recommender for tier 5 for tier 6 there's no brainer ladies and gents may I present the best oncoming tier 6 premium ship in this game after 0.8.0 and that it's the Prince ladies and gents and this replay will definitely show you how bad or how good this ship is uh, one ricochet cunning has armor ladies and gents and there is the uh, short range for the tier 7 ships I highly recommend those two ships in my honestly opinion they will shine they will perform better and better and there will be the US Atlanta and the sister ship US Flint which is basically Atlanta with smoke they will be absurd strong extremely strong remember guys the Atlanta does not have limit of AA defense if you have cooldown of your AA however you can use it for every single cooldown all over again and you probably together with probably another 
uh, Atlanta or another flint you are a no-fly zone for any carriers you face so for my for, for that reason and because guys and this is my honestly opinion at the high tier tier uh, seven eight the battleship will not last more than 10 15 minutes because when three cvs is charging you and focus you down uh, well you are the first ones going down and there's the battleship because there's no bramer guys if there's an atlanta on enemy team and the enemy team cv can choose between you battleship or atlanta of course they will never get for the atlanta they will pick you bb first and yeah and cv at the very uh, end because uh if the cvs two or three cvs stay together and you're gonna definitely see damn this is 5.1 4.7 and you shrink planes down holy macaroni yeah by the way guys the oncoming cv rework uh, it's basically if two cvs are staying extreme uh, st together they can call the fighters and basically they are becoming immune versus all sniping there's there won't be any sniping especially at year 8 and year 10 because the um, uh, the fighters will be extremely effective and strong versus sniping so the last ships which will go down it's actually will be the aircraft carrier now for tier 8 guys uh, if you do not own this ship which uh, once again i do believe it's one gonna be one hell of a strong ship and you can purchase her in the uh, premium shop the US Massachusetts with together with her uh, sister ship US Alabama they will be extremely strong and uh, you may argue you can definitely defend yourself I mean you better play uh, Massachusetts than let's say Tirpitz or Bismarck which remember the Japanese AP bomber will sit it all the crap out of you especially if you are a German vessel on German battleships like the grab spit she's after all a cruiser yeah um so beside uh alabama and uh, massachusetts i do believe the kutuzov it's also one of the best aa fleet monster at tier 8 premium version uh, i i believe uh, that ship it's uh, pretty damn nifty in aa department especially if you spec everything and i mean everything in aa for tier 9 guys we don't know exactly 100 percent what's going on but i do honestly believe i'll put my bet to us alaska which is a super cruiser with a you know us aa probably it's not so damn strong but if you once again you put everything in aa department and you have uh, you know aa defense with a large large hp pool like a damn kronstadt you will definitely be way if you still want to play like a battleship take jean bart or us alaska and you will be pretty all right you still have to stay together but however because us alaska is a cruiser with a defense it's definitely not the first pick the civil will go for and for tier 10 guys there's very few premium ships however i still believe the strongest of all will be the us salem the premium version of demons and uh, i do honestly believe that demo has better a however all those uh, ships that i uh, mentioned uh, here guys it was the premium ones so guys nothing crazy only 14 planes down one uh, kill so far it's nothing crazy Koenig's shown a little bit too much side over here I do believe that this captain was you know doing all right you definitely see the dispersion you see the firepower of this battleship um, overpen for overpen yeah rip my overpen and uh, I kind of a uh, broken because Koenig does have pretty nifty armor for tier 5 it's one hell of a ton tanky ship I do own uh, Koenig I still believe it's uh, very fun and I used her in, um, in ranked the latest ranked and there she goes 
and two penetration and yeah so far guys this uh, game was not something crazy uh, maybe the matchmaker was pretty damn good I mean it would be different story if it, you will face your eight ships but in general sometimes your top dog sometimes you're facing tier 7 ships I believe the the Prince can definitely handle tier 6 and tier 5 bat uh, tier 6 and tier 7 battles however she might struggle versus tier 8 New York yeah see the dispersion it's not great but not extremely bad either I do like the reload yeah I definitely like the reload the enemy team, is the enemy team it's uh, bound to win and this is oh man now I definitely see how big uh, now the friendly uh, division what it was Dallas he went to cap B to stop the enemy because it's a huge difference between 320 and 640 right it's it's no barrier they you know enemy should win this pretty easy right five thousand one hundred damage not crazy but he was kind of an angle however then uh, New York is showing your much better side he showed perfect broadside for crying out loud. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, you cannot ask for a better target. Nine thousand, pretty good salvo. Nine thousand nine hundred close to ten K damage, it's not bad. I mean not wow, but definitely not bad. Wow, ouch, man. And now I do believe the secondary chew this one up. You probably want to come closer with your um, uh, Prince, especially if you build her for massive AA department. You, this is why you kind of need to spec. We will come later in the next video. You probably need to spec all your ba battleships different than what you do have right now. Okay, he's a HE spammer. Well, I can't. I don't blame him. The can does not have the biggest guns. It's not like um, ooh, that was pretty good uh, salvo. Mm -hmm. And now the secondary chew him up. And this is 5.5 kilometers. The enemy teams. Oh man, two fires. All right. Definitely show you the secondary if you build this this kind of <laughs> or annoying as hell to face But to be honest with you the the, the secondary does little damage <laughs> Enemy battleship they kind of need this team really need it this skill otherwise this could be a different story because the Dallas is gone someone nuked the Dallas and uh, is no more you know it's a squishy target with no heal that's the damn problem those ships I just mentioned guys they are not the best they do not perform the best but I, I do believe the whole gameplay will be so huge big change in the next patch that maybe even though you're squishy as hell I'm talking about the US Atlanta the carrier would not try to strike you any anytime soon they will strike the ba ba uh, battleships and probably oh boy Fuso damn pretty he's 100% full HP Fuso damn yeah, it's a tier six uh, carry, and now the carries actually t target this captain because uh, maybe yeah, I don't know which one he was focus if there was the torpedo bombers or the dive bombers. Maybe it was the dive bombers wants to focus. Three planes down. Yeah, two uh, fires. The biggest threat is actually the. 
Okay, so he focused the, uh, the torpedo bombers. So he basically took them down. So we have ladies and gentlemen, 26 playing down and it's, oh man, okay, this is bad. Okay, we are focused fire. This is extremely bad. It's, he's actually one versus three with carrier. And he's alone, the one who's pushing because the rest of the campers, they are way, way behind and that is the confederate. Mm, this is actually real bad, guys. He have a very hard to hold it, but he's a HE spammer. All right, the biggest threat is actually the the prince from right side. He put this dude on fire. Six thousand nine hundred. Hmm. Not a whole lot to be honest with you, but as long as this fool is only HE spamming. Yeah, <laughs> he won't take any a whole lot of damage besides the uh, fire damage. 941. Our uh, Fusa does have a pretty um, fast reload. Okay, there you go. That was much, much better. And he's healing up. Oh man, I, he has no health. Julio Chesar is pretty much in the friendly as. Full HP close to all oh, man. One more salvo, oh, man. This is one hell of a replay. <laughs> and there you go. Well, he had some help, but oh boy, oh, he's in the in the pen that he want to cat. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Maybe the independent wants to ram him. <laughs> I do believe so, guys. <laughs> Just hilarious. <laughs> Oh boy, this was one hell of a nice. Uh, all right, and now of course everyone is aiming towards that. Okay, crap, man, this thing is fast. Okay, this is bad news actually, guys. Yeah, definitely is going for a ram. But you see, the prince is not a slow ship. <laughs> Full speed, oh, close, oh, damn close, oh man, <laughs> Giulio Cesare, yeah, <laughs> that ship, I, I, I do believe it's the strongest tier 5 ship, but the thing is, uh, the reason I'd not put her, because her A is absolutely crap, she has extremely good uh, maneuverable and good ship, good concealment and extremely good guns, don't get me wrong, if you're top dog and only Langley is facing you, then you will be fine, uh, even in the next patch however if there's tier 6 carrier or 2 3 you know 6 carriers and try to uh, engage and uh, form you you're just uh, forming pinata even in uh, Giulio Cesare but unfortunately uh, most of the tier 5 uh, battleship they have close to zero in AA I mean bad real bad AA And especially when they face tier 6 carriers because the tier 6 carriers will be the first one which do have access to the torpedo bombers and not just one dive of torpedo you can basically I don't know if it's four or five different options okay I do believe this prince it's doing something bad Okay, he also have good secondary, and he's also HE spammer. I don't know if he is, to be honest with you, but he's in bad, bad spot. And this is the last battle. Guys, 168,000 damage, only 24 planes down. But I do believe the enemy carrier, he run off a plane, had no more planes. And I do believe this uh, enemy uh, prince is going down. And it was pretty hilarious, good fun uh, game to see how the strength, when you build your prince, everything in AA department and secondary, secondary and AA, AA build. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, man, it's a tough not to crack this prince. I'm not so happy about the dispersion and the alpha damage to, to those guns to be honest with you 
Even this uh, enemy Freddy was playing like a potato, he survived way too much. So that's the game guys, thanks guys and I wish you from my bottom of my heart have a nice year, happy new year.